we are starting language arts. So what I'm going to do is my friends are going to do a rewrite. I am going to write a re. I'm going to write. I'm going to write a Jane Brett novel. No book. No, I'm going to read another one, and then I'm going to have my friends do their second rewrite, and then I will come back, and then you can hear the rewrites. So because they're kind of fun. So we're going to do that. So while the break in between, you can also work on your rewrite. And I would also like to see your paper with your sentence. I would like to see that in your folder as well so I can see that you're doing this and also that you are understanding the whole process. Okay, so set hand that in tomorrow so I can see how you're doing. So this, friends, is called The Hat by who do you think? Jane Brett. Jane Brett. So again, we have the little pictures on the side. Winter was on the way. Lisa took her woolen clothes out of the chest and carried them outside. She was hanging them up in the fresh air when a strong wind blew one of her stockings off the line. Ooh, what is that animal coming? Can anybody see? Mm -hmm. yes. No. A hedgehog. 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 Curious Hedgy found it and poked his nose in. When he pulled it out, the stocking was stuck on his prickles. How embarrassing, Hedgy thought. Because hedgehogs have prickly, kind of like porcupines, but not quite as long. Yes, Tessa. Yes. The mother hen came by with her chicks. Cackle, cackle, she clucked and laughed. What's that on your head, Hedgy? Why, it's my new hat, he told her. Isn't it beautiful? The mother hen cocked her head as if she had an idea. And off she ran. Who's coming next? Yeah. Hedgy saw the noisy goose looking down at him. Honk, honk, ho, 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 said the goose laugh. Look at that. The hedgehog has flipped his gizzard. Laugh today, goose, but tomorrow when it rains, my hat will keep me dry. The goose thought for a moment, and off he ran. Who's coming next? The barn cat was watching from a tree as Hedgy tugged at the stocking. Meow, he called down. What a silly looking hedgehog you are with that thing on your head. But my ears will be warm in the snowstorm. Hmm, purred the cat, and off. He ran. What's coming next? It's a dog. The farm dog and her puppies found Hedgy in a patch of brambles. Hedgy, is that a hat you're wearing? How funny you look, she barked, and her puppies yelped and giggled. But I'll be cozy and dry when it snows, Hedgy said. The farm dog's ears perked up, and off she ran. And then here comes a pig. Like oink, oink, the piglet squealed. What are you up to, Hedgy? The mama pig asked, making sure my hat doesn't fall off in an icy wind when the icy wind blows. I see, said the mama pig. And off they ran. Hedgy with what is that ridiculous thing on your head? The pony snorted at Hedgy. That was the last straw. It's my hat, of course. Don't you know that everyone should wear a hat in winter when it's cold and snowy? Hedgy shouted. The pony looked startled. Hedgy was usually so friendly. And off he ran. Hedgy just wanted to be alone. He was tired of everyone laughing at him. And that with this thing on his head, he wouldn't even fit into his den. Oh, here comes the here comes the girl looking for her stocking. 
He didn't see Lisa running after him, the other stocking in her hand. Come back, you silly hedgehog, she called. Oh no, Hedgy thought, even the girl is laughing at me. Lisa caught up and pulled her stocking off Hedgy's head. You silly little hedgehog, she laughed. Don't you know that animals don't wear clothes? Oh, but all the animals are getting pieces of clothing. Hedgy headed for his den, and Lisa started back toward the clothesline. That's when she saw all her, her missing woolens or clothes. Oh my gosh, all little windows show all the animals. The animals had taken them, and each was thinking, now I am wearing a magnificent hat. Oh my gosh. That is funny. I'm going to walk around with this picture because it's really funny. You have to especially look at the chicken because she looks especially funny. Lisa was still chasing when them when Hedgy reached his den. How ridiculous they look. Don't they know that animals should never wear clothes? So they all want to be like Hedgy and they want clothes. So they stole all of the clothes. So look at the chicken because I think that one is especially funny because it's a log on top of his head. <laughs> so if you have, when, I have, when you have quiet time, I'm going to put all these Jane Brett books out so you can look at them closer because the illustrations are really beautiful. And you have to really look at them. And I do realize this is a situation that we're in. Everyone's got Peter to go. So I would especially like you to let, check out the five little foreshadowing things. Because you can tell what's going to happen. He's such a fantastic illustrator. So I can put the top, uh, put these books that I've read this week in the back. Or I can put them all together. And then you can take a look at it. on your paper. Now what I would like for you to do is get out your, if you don't have it out, get it out. Yay. And we're going to work on the second rewrite. Is that the, oh yeah, the switch. My pencil's broke. All right, we are not talking. So turn around. So with this rewrite, I am going to let you Change it up as much as you want. If I can find mine, I need to find the little troll. I can see, there we go. So, this rewrite says, I really need those crackers. I drooled hungrily to my mom. So, change, you can change the whole thing. But, keep the integrity of the sentence, meaning... The sentence should still be similar to the initial sentence, only you can change it up entirely. So instead of saying, trying to get the, here it is. I really need those boots, I said reassuringly to the twins. So you can change it up and whatever you want. So I am going to give you some time to write. And then if you want to share, you can do so at the end. So I will come back when sharing time begins.